Hi everyone, welcome to We Belong Education video series. My name is Sara Malvia and today I want to talk to you about relationships. What is a relationship? Is it simply how we relate to other people or things? See, often when we conceptualize this phenomenon of relationship, we associate it with people. But it goes beyond it, isn't it? Your relationship with your workplace, your relationship with your food or gym for that matter are also crucial to discuss. Now, given that there are different forms and types of relationships, I'm sure that there are many ways you can define it. So I'm going to stay away from defining it, but rather talk about these fundamental characteristics of a successful relationship and how can we create one. Now, I was thinking about this phenomena called relationship and I thought, hmm, it seems that we enter willingly into a relationship to feel a certain way and to serve a purpose. So... The purpose could differ from people to people in relationship to relationship. So the purposes could be that you want to uh, feel happy, you want to feel empowered, or you want to learn a few things, or you want to contribute to someone else's life, or perhaps you just want to feel inspired. So this feeling and purposes are very important in a relationship. Now I'm just assuming this, but it seems that we all like to feel loved, acknowledged, heard, we all like to feel that we matter to other people or to other things. So, Carl Rogers, a humanist philosopher, came up with this concept of therapeutic relationship. He says when two people or two entities come together, they should both feel nicer about themselves, happier perhaps. They should both get something from the relation. Their, their purposes should be solved. Both of their purposes should be served. And he called that as a therapeutic relationship. So I have a question for the listeners. How do you feel when you're driving to work? How do you feel when you're driving from work? Are you feeling empowered, inspired, heard, acknowledged, or are you not? And now, I'm not talking about those days where the, the things didn't go your way, those hiccups. I'm not talking about those um, couple of days out of 10 days. I'm talking about overall, when you think about your workplace, how do you feel? Now, although I'm talking about workplace here, you can use this conversation for some other relationships you might have in your life at this stage. But how do you feel? So if you feel inspired and, and heard and loved and mattered, that, that's brilliant. But what if you don't feel that way? What can we do about that? So I was thinking about uh, some of the steps we can take. And now I'm sure that I'm going to give you four steps, but I'm sure that there are many more steps that you can take. Um, but the first step I was thinking is to become a bit more self-aware as to question yourself. How are you feeling? Do you feel that your purpose is served? Do you feel that the reason why you entered the relationship is, is being solved, is, is being attended to? Do you feel that? If not, can you communicate that to other people? And be very mindful when you communicate this. Be very mindful that when you're Tell others, you need to be very clear that this is how I feel. This is not how necessarily the things are in reality, but this is how I feel. You have to be very responsible, the language you choose here. That is, A, you become self-aware of how you feel and you communicate your feelings to someone else. So that would be step number one. Find out how you're feeling. Step number two, make a request to someone, make a request that I feel X, Y, Z or this way and I request you to do this for me. 
so that means an employer can make a request to employees or employees can make a request to an employer by saying this is how i'm feeling and this is my request so that i can feel better step number two now step number three is given that we are committed for a therapeutic relationship and we want both parties to to be happy and feel nicer that we should say that i am committed to doing or taking these steps from my side to make things better so i have a request that you do this for me and i will do this to make things better so that could be that you might have to go and study more uh, you might have to go and uh, attend some uh, development classes so that you can understand your work more and therefore you can contribute to your work more remember if you feel happier then your workplace will also be happier, will also benefit from you being satisfied. Your well-being is crucial so that the workplace can also benefit from you. And the fourth step, which I think is the most important step in any relationship, is your way of being. Who are you being in a relationship determines what is going to manifest in the relationship. So, Check your ways of being. Who are you being in a relationship? Are you being patient? Are you being a lifelong learner? These virtues are crucial. So just the first three steps is in the way of doing. What are you going to do? You're going to find how you feel, communicate how you feel and make a request. And then the third step is that you tell them what are you going to do so that the things are better. But the fourth one, who are you going to be in all of that process is very crucial so that you can make this all work. Now you can always quit and that's going to be a choice for you, with you forever. You can always quit. But if you don't want to quit or perhaps before quitting, you can do these four steps and see how you can make any relationship. And I'm talking about therapeutic relationship at workplaces at the moment. Any relationship a successful or a therapeutic relationship where all entities, all entities are satisfied and their purposes are, are served. That brings me to my last question and perhaps the most important one. Do you reckon that at your workplace or in your life, there is space where these conversations can even take place? Do you reckon that at your workplace or in your life, you have someone who would listen to you and will willingly choose to understand you if not then perhaps before we move on to these four steps we need to create space where these possibilities can manifest i hope you enjoyed the video and that you got something out of it i'm always keen to hear your feedback to have access to more such videos please like my page we belong education follow me on instagram I will add the links at the bottom. Till the next video, look after yourself and the people you love. It's a goodbye from me. Take care.